what is up guru gang i'm back i'm back i'm back happy candle day y'all yes the day has finally come the day is here if you are new to my channel girl welcome 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 i talk about a whole lot of candles a lot of perfume bath and body works ulta sephora all that fun stuff but today we are focusing on bath and body works candle day 2022 and my haul and shopping experience now i know a lot of you guys wanted me to vlog this um i tried my best so i did insert a little clippy and i will put that in here so you guys can kind of see but it's really hard and hectic to vlog and also look for the things that are on your list so there really weren't a lot of people in my store when i was shopping so i won't say that there were just a lot of people but when you're like laser focused on something and you really need to find everything it's kind of a hard thing to record so Anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing what I picked up or if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and let's go ahead and jump into it. So I do want to insert just a little mini vlog of how my morning went, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's jump in. Good morning, you guys. This is my attempt at vlogging candle day for y'all. Um, FYI, I literally got home from work, y'all. Not even a full three hours ago, okay? Um, I got off from work and got home at about 2.30 a.m. my time and i'm up on my way to my store um it is 5 24 so i'm really not sure what to expect honestly because my store that i go to is not really one to have big long lines like that and i do plan on going to two stores um i'm gonna go to a standalone first and then i'm gonna go to a mall store because the mall store opens later so hopefully the timing of me leaving the standalone store Oh shoot, I missed my turn, y'all. See? That's why I don't vlog, y'all. Okay, sorry, y'all. I had to get my bearings together. But yeah, so um, hopefully the timing of me leaving my standalone store matches up with like, it's basically a two hour gap in between the times that both of them open. So I don't know, y'all. I might even hit three stores today. I'm off work today. But child, I'm tired. Like, I literally got two hours of sleep, basically. And I'm up, y'all. Literally jumped out of my bed. Like, clothes was ready, bags was ready ready to go so hopefully i'm gonna try to get some footage for y'all but y'all know i'm on a mission i gotta grab my candles first and then i will update you guys as i'm in my store now you guys so i will let you guys know what it's looking like and try to insert a little clippy or two um but y'all know i'm on a mission and i gotta get my stuff first so, yeah. okay y'all so i just pulled up um so there's literally actually no one in line like in front of the door but I can tell there's like four or five people like parked outside the store. So I'm at my standalone store. Like I'm literally just in the parking lot. <laughs> um, so I think I'm about to just get out so I can just be in front of the door when they open. Because I'm about to be thirsty and I have a big coat on. Because I need to make sure I get these candles, girl. So wish me luck. Fingers crossed. Okay, y'all. When I tell y'all I'm literally the only person in line. Like I can tell there's like three or four people like in cars waiting. <laughs> But I was like the first person to basically just get out of the car and get in line because, girl, I can already see what I need to get. I don't know if y'all can see inside. Let me flip the camera around. So, yeah. What I need, girl. But yeah, y'all, I'm excited. Okay, girl. So, um... I just left my standalone store. It was about 90% of success, but I did not see any of my winter candy apple or perfect Christmas glass jar lids, girl. Um, and I really think that the employees probably took the ones that they had. So, cause I overheard them kind of like talking and talking about how they like put their candles aside or whatever, which is fair. I mean, you know, if they work there, whatever, they should get first dibs. So hopefully that didn't happen with my mall store. My mall store is not opening for another hour or so. And I was pretty much in and out of my standalone store with like 90% of the stuff that was on my list. So I'm heading to get some breakfast and some coffee because I've only had two hours of sleep since I literally just got off work. Um, and then I'm going to go to my mall store to try and find the glass jar lids because those are literally the last things that I need. And then I might get some backups of things. But for the most part, y'all, I've already done too much. So I'm going to just hopefully grab those. All right, you guys, I just wanted to insert a little mini shop with me. So this was actually in my mall store. This was the second location that I went to for the day. So at this point, I had already finished my shopping and everything else was just extra. Um, so here are just some of the exclusive mashups, some of the vault collection drops for Candle Day. 
um, and everything was just really nicely organized, you guys. It had all of the returning classic scents um, on this little round fixture right here. So a nice diverse mixture of things. I do wish they brought more things back, but I wasn't super, super, you know, upset with the, with the selection that we did have like i do think there are lots of great options so they had that nasty thanksgiving candle um and then a bunch of fall scents that were really good hometown sugar cookies blueberry maple pancakes which y'all know i love both of those um and just a lot of fall scents that i feel like you know are kind of lingering around or just random things that they brought back out for candle day so and then of course this collection that had my coffee and whiskey in it which y'all know i loved i was glad to see that it was back kind of stock up um and then this is just more holiday traditions of course those weren't on my radar but they did smell really really nice and then this fixture over here is actually where the perfect christmas with the glass lid was but it literally sold out within 10 minutes so girl my store only had four and spoiler alert it did come home with me um, but yeah, so then this fixture over here, more returning scents, and then we have the signature body care scents, which I was super excited to see. Those were stocked up really well, as well as some aromatherapy scents and some cute little candle holders that were on sale for half off but yeah you guys i definitely think there was a great selection um i did also see the oud collection in my store which honestly you guys i've burned through a few of them and they just do not perform that great for me so other than that you guys i definitely think there is a lot of candles to go around so with that being said let's go ahead and jump into what i picked up today Okay, you guys, so as you guys can see from that little mini vlog, I had a pretty chill experience, you guys. I woke up and got to my store. Literally, my first store was a standalone store. I got there literally as soon as they opened. Like, I think I got out of my car at 5.52. They opened at 6, so I was the first person to get out of my car and get in line. Walked in. I got about 85% of the things that I needed. Literally, the only thing that I was not able to find in that store were my glass lid candles. So I was like, okay. So then I went to a second store, which was my mall store, which opened about two hours later. And I'm so glad that I got there when I did because y'all literally, when I tell y'all, I did a lap around the store after I grabbed what I wanted and I came back to the fixture, they were all gone. So y'all, if you see the higher priced ones, the higher ticketed ones, y'all just grab them, like just grab them. Don't even think twice about it because they are not going to last through the weekend. But without further ado, you guys, let's jump into this massive, massive, massive haul. First one that I picked up is Into the Night. So I picked this one up. I told you guys I was going to be picking up some of these signature scented ones. This one has notes of sugared raspberry, velvet rose petals, shimmering amber, and creamy musk. And y'all, you already know this is a core Bath & Body Works body care scent. And it literally smells just like the body care. Um, this is definitely a very perfumey, fruity type of mix, type of scent. And I love how this smells. I'm actually going to be gifting this one. Um, which if you guys did not watch my candle date wish list video, I will link that up top because I pretty much told you guys everything that I was going to buy as well as um, some like candle day tips and tricks and things like that. So if you're interested in that and you are watching this while the sale is still going, then of course I will have that linked for y'all. But yes, definitely happy to have this one. Next in the signature scents that I grabbed, I did grab a 1000 Wishes. So um, first of all, y'all, I just love the packaging on all these. Like this just looks so luxe. But the notes on a thousand wishes are sparkling champagne, crystal peonies, and almond cream. Smells just like the body care, y'all. If you are familiar with the Thousand Wishes body care, this smells just like it. Um, again, this is a candle that I will be gifting, but I do really, really love how this one smells. I love how the body care smells, and this is definitely more of a fruity floral type of scent. So if you were into that or you want to gift a candle that's somewhat girly and like universal, I definitely think this is a good one to gift. The next one that I picked up, I actually got two because one of these I'm going to be keeping for myself, but... This is your The One, and this one has notes of white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. It smells so good, you guys. It's literally like a powdery, rosy type of scent. Um, I feel like if you like perfume scents like Delina and things like that, like rosy, fruity, vanillic type of scents, you will definitely appreciate your The One. Um, I grabbed one to keep for me, and then, of course, the other one I will be gifting for Christmas. Now, this one... I actually got three of and originally I was only going to buy one of these just to gift but y'all I don't know what it is I'm like so late to the end the stars party because I avoided it for so long because everyone always said oh it smells like Baccarat it smells like Baccarat and I'm just like okay y'all the candle in the stars 
I had to get three, okay? So I'm probably still going to gift one, um, but I have just fallen in love with it. I don't know what it is about the candle, but the candle literally smells so good. And it smells just like the body care. It smells just like the body care. It definitely gives me Ariana Grande cloud vibes. And I don't know, y'all, this just, oh, this smells so good. Like, I cannot wait to burn this. I might burn one of these today because I just would love to have this scent permeating through my house. And I think that's kind of what it is for me with Baccarat Rouge in general. I feel like I like how it smells on men, but also really love it in a home scent. So I'm excited to burn this one, you guys. This is a candle that I have never actually owned. I do own the body care. I have never owned the candle, so cannot wait to use this one, y'all. Let's get into the next bag. You guys watched my little video from yesterday where I basically talked about like finding rare and random scents. This is one of the scents that I found in my standalone store. Um, it was kind of tucked off in the back and you guys may have possibly saw it when I put a picture in my video yesterday, but this is the red, white, and blue cake. I grabbed this one. This one has notes of red raspberries, ripe blueberries with vanilla cream and soft white cake. And that's literally what it smells like. It smells like some sort of sugary berry. Like it almost gives me like blueberry maple pancakes vibes. But instead of like that buttery pancake note, it's got more of a fluffy white cake note, if that makes sense. It smells really, really good though, you guys. And I'm very excited to get my hands on this one. From that collection, you guys, is the Sour Melon Drop. This one has notes of juicy candied watermelon, sour green apple, and bursting honeydew melon. Oh, this smells so good, you guys. This is probably one I probably won't really burn until like the spring, summer, but this is definitely a very juicy, sour melon scent. Like they got the name spot on for this. This is super refreshing, super crisp. If you ever burn Bath & Body Works crisp green apple candle, this gives me the same kind of like juicy mouth-watering vibe as that, except with sour melon note. So yeah, definitely happy to have this one. All right, you guys. And then if you guys saw in my little snippet earlier, my store had lots of fall candles. And if you watched my last empties video, you will know I emptied one of these. So I definitely needed to have a backup because I feel like this one performed really, really great this year. Um, but this is Blueberry Maple Pancakes. This is a classic for me. This is usually always a beast mode. And if you love blueberry gourmand scents, this literally smells like blueberry maple syrup and pancakes. So happy to have this one back in my collection. I got two sweet whiskeys. Um, I literally went back to my store that I knew had four of these. So literally this was one of the first things that I grabbed today. Um, all of my other stores were literally sold out of this. So you guys, if you see this, definitely scoop it up. Cause like I said in my wish list video, this one is a beast. All right, and then also from that collection that I picked up, I picked up another cranberry orange seltzer. Um, this one has notes of fresh orange, sugared cranberries and fizzy seltzer water. It's a really great description of it. Like it literally smells like orange soda with like cranberries or something it smells really good and i thought this would be a really good one for the holidays candle definitely gives me like new year's eve type of vibes like if you like champagne toast and stuff like that you will definitely like this one okay girl next bag two more candles that i talked about in my wish list video the it was the night before christmas literally has notes of santa's fresh baked cookies a warm mug of milk with dashes of cinnamon and nutmeg and i already told you guys this literally smells like shortbread cookies that have been dipped in milk and i love how this smells so i grabbed two and then speaking of cookie scents, I also had to pick up another hometown sugar cookies. Um, I do actually have a full, full, full review of this candle on my channel already. So I will link it up top, whatever side it is up here. So you guys can watch that. But I definitely wanted to go ahead and have another one of these because I did completely burn through one. Then speaking of scents that I have burned through, this will be in my next upcoming empties video. But I've already talked about this in my candle day wish list and what it smells like but this literally smells like a sugary pomegranate jolly rancher and it smells amazing the performance is the bomb it has notes of sugared pomegranate pink grapefruit and sparkling bergamot and i just love how this one smells as well as the performance last two in this bag i picked up two strawberry snowflakes again this one has notes of juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot mm, y'all this candle smells so much better than the body care. It's like, it smells the same as the body care, but I think like the bergamot is louder in here and that cream is coming through more. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. I love how this smells. Like if y'all see this, definitely pick this up. Next bag, next bag. I did pick up a spiced pumpkin and patchouli. Um, this has notes of rich pumpkin, warm patchouli, a touch of cinnamon sugar. And to me, y'all, this one definitely smells like a sweet, patchouli basically it smells like a patchouli perfume almost but 
not in like a dirty stinky way because whatever that sweetness is that's in there it makes it smells really really good this candle had like some really really great reviews as far as like how it performs so i was excited to have this one because this is definitely like a fall wintery type of scent this was something that was a little bit newer that i saw this is the white woods and peach this has notes of juicy peach soft white woods and cinnamon stick and this literally smells like a peach candy you guys like it smells like a hard peach candy with like cinnamon or something like that mixed in I don't get a whole lot of woods in here, but I'm not mad at it. It basically just smells like a powdery peach hard candy and it smells really, really good. So I cannot wait to burn this one. Of course, I had to pick up a backup of my coffee and whiskey. I don't know if this is going to be permanent. Like I know this is technically one of the men's scents, but I don't know if the candle is going to be permanent. Like I hope it is, but if for some reason it's not, I went ahead and grabbed a backup of this. It's literally a boozy coffee scent. Then of course, Paris Cafe, y'all. I had to pick up three of her, okay? So if you are a coffee lover, if you are a coffee scent lover, you guys definitely need to pick this one up. They brought this one back out of the vault. And this is just a classic. This is literally one of my top favorites. If you love sweet coffee scented candles, this is going to be right up your alley, girl. Paris Cafe has notes of rich roasted coffee, sugared brioche, and vanilla cream. And it is just a delicious, true, creamy coffee scent. I love it so much. I'm literally about to light one of these right now. So I was like, let me go ahead and get three because I do hope it comes back permanently because I feel like at one point it was like a core white barn scent and then it like went away. So I don't know what they're doing with it, but they need to just quit playing and bring it back and make it permanent. So I don't have to feel like I have to stock up. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, we got another one. Did pick up my unicorn sprinkles. I told you guys I was gonna pick this up in my wish list video. This has notes of fluffy cotton candy, rainbow candy drops and sugared lemon. And it literally smells like spun cotton candy with like, lemon heads mixed together like it's definitely a sweet sugary cotton candy scent but it does have that sour lemon candy mix in there as well and i really really enjoy how this smells i have reviewed this before quite a long time ago but i am excited to give you guys a more updated review once i burn through it this one i picked up is actually the tipsy elf now i grabbed my butter rum eggnog because i did mention to someone in the comments um in my initial wish list video i basically said that this was a repackage of this and while this did smell pretty similar to me in the store, I wanted to like smell them side by side to give you guys kind of a more accurate description. But the notes in Tipsy Elf are Merry Vanilla, Jolly Nutmeg, a Sneaky Elf with a heavy splash of rum. And this one, the Butter Rum Eggnog has Spiced Eggnog, Vanilla Bourbon, Rich Buttercream, and Shaved Nutmeg. So I will say that the Tipsy Elf is definitely a lot creamier like I definitely get a creamier heavy cream eggnog type of vibe in here versus in here I get that same note but this is heavier on the booziness so the rum so it's a little bit more spicy um I do feel like they're pretty similar but I will not say that this one is a repackage um this one's definitely giving me more vanilla more creaminess a little bit more richness while this one's giving me a little bit more of a boozy vibe but I would definitely put them in the same category and I'm happy to have both so yeah hey y'all and then of course I picked up a French bag I get I told you guys I was gonna grab one of these literally it smells like a freshly baked croissant with butter melted on top straight out of a bakery y'all it's just so crazy this is one of the most realistic smelling candles that I have ever smelled from Bath and Body Works it literally smells like bread and I just love burning this in my kitchen so I'm so glad to have this one back this next one <laughs> I really had to hold myself back y'all because I said even if it's a scent that I love I don't want to do more than three so I picked up my girl wine cellar I picked up three of these this is what the packaging looks like it looks so bomb and like I told you guys in my video yesterday this is a candle I'm super excited to revisit because I did review this in a fall candle haul from many many years ago and this has always just been one of my favorites and I've been waiting for it to come back um it has notes of mold apples fresh fig and cedarwood and honestly you guys my stores like we're definitely selling out of this one really really fast so i know my third store that i went to literally only had two of these left and they were the ones that were at the cash wrap so on the actual fixture this one was sold out oh y'all this smells so good it's like an apple-y fig perfume like it just smells so good it's a little woody it just smells so good you guys like this literally smells like some type of looks like 
artsy, you know, boutique or something like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it just smells so bomb. So I'm so excited to have this back. And also look at the packaging, y'all. I just love that. Okay, y'all, we almost down to the last one. I have one more after this. So let's jump into this one. Guys, okay, so this is one of the blends. I wasn't originally going to grab this one, um, but I did watch my girl Savings Fashionista talking about this one on her story. So I was like, let me check this one out and see what it's about. This is the cinnamon stick and Waikiki Beach Coconut. Um, this has notes of vanilla, fresh coconut cream, dash of nutmeg, and cinnamon stick. And honestly, you guys, I'm having a hard time figuring this one out. Like, it definitely smells good, but it's also kind of a weird combo to me because it's like a tropical, spicy scent. So I don't know. I'm going to burn this one and I guess let you guys know how I feel about it. But I do think it smells really good. It's not my favorite from the bunch necessarily, but I think it's interesting. And hopefully it translates a little bit better when I'm burning it and I can enjoy it a little bit more because I think I want to burn this in my bathroom. Um, Waikiki Beach Coconut is usually a scent that I burn in my bathroom during the summer. So I don't know. I wanted to try it out and see how it does. Next in the blends collection, I did pick up two sugared blueberry and why can't I say this one right, y'all? Like, this is so hard to say. I don't know why. I picked up two of the sugar lemonade and blueberry sugar. Like, that's why it's messing me up because it says sugar twice. But this one has notes of sweet blueberries, fresh lemon juice, and sugared crystals. And it literally, to me, it smells like lemon head candy, but like with a hint of like blueberries in there, like blueberry syrup or something. Like, it's definitely a fruity sour mix, but I feel like it's done really, really well in here. So I cannot wait to burn this because I love citrusy, sour, sweet scents like this. So super excited to have this one. I went ahead and grabbed two because I had a feeling that I was really gonna like this one. The last two of the blends collection that I grabbed is the Cinnamon Spice Vanilla and Hot Cocoa and Cream. I told you guys I was gonna grab this one. This one has decadent milk chocolate, ground cinnamon, and vanilla bean. And like I said in my video yesterday, you guys, this literally smells like a whipped milk chocolate mousse to me. I personally don't get a whole lot of cinnamon like when I'm smelling it on cold. So I'm excited to burn this and see if more of that cinnamon spice vanilla comes out a little bit more. But I'm not mad at how it smells on cold. It definitely smells like a creamy milk chocolate. Save the best bag for last, okay? So y'all, when I tell y'all I went to literally like two stores before I was able to find this one. I went to my standalone store and then I went to another standalone store. And when I went to my mall store, literally 10 minutes after they opened, I finally found the perfect Christmas. And not only did I find one, I found two girls. So I went ahead and picked both of these little guys up because I was so excited. My store literally only had like five of these left and I hated to be that person that took more than one, but at the same time, girl, you snooze, you lose. And y'all knew I wanted this candle. So I do want to keep one for myself and then gift one for Christmas. But like I told you guys in my video yesterday, this literally is the epitome of a perfect Christmas scent. It's got that pine type of Christmas tree smell, but there's also a sweetness from that marshmallow. It gives you the vibes of like Christmas air and like snow. Like it's so hard to explain, but it's just a very nostalgic scent. And this candle was such a big deal for me because it was originally $32.50. So plus all of the coupons that I use in my transactions, because I did a few different transactions, you guys. I think this candle specifically ended up being around like $7.50 or something like that. So very excited to have this one. And of course, look at the cute little Santa Claus lid, y'all. That is adorable. This is one of those candle jars that I would definitely keep um, and clean it out. So I'm going to be very meticulous about making sure I trim my wick so it doesn't stain the inside of this jar. But I would definitely keep something like this and store like cotton swabs or like cotton pads or just something to use it for because I hate making I hate when lids like this go to waste because they're just so pretty so definitely will be keeping and reusing this one for sure uh, this next one I grabbed because I was not sure if I was going to be able to find my winter candy apple so this is the fireside glass lid collection this is another one that is a pretty pricey one on its own so I went ahead and picked it up here is what the lid looks like it's definitely like a holographic like iridescent type of lid it's really really pretty um now this fireside scent this has notes of smoked cedar fresh clove bud and warm ember definitely prefer the scent marshmallow fireside over this one um just because this one is definitely very smoky very woody like this is definitely a more masculine type of scent so honestly you guys just for the simple fact of me wanting to reuse this and keep this jar i would probably burn this alongside something else that's super super sweet so it kind of combines together and gives a smoky sweet vibe 
Um, I personally would probably not burn this by itself just because I feel like it's one of those candles that might potentially give me a headache. So there's that, but I did go ahead and pick it up anyway. This was the only one that my store had left. And also in that collection, another one of the glass lids. This is the Cedar in Suede, and this y'all already knew I was going to buy. Even if I did not like the scent of this one, y'all, just the fact that it's a green jar, I already knew I was going to keep this and reuse this, but surprisingly, I actually did like the scent as well, so I was super pleasantly surprised by that. This one has notes of soft cedar, warm incense, and velvety suede. This is definitely a very seductive, like sultry, cozy type of scent. I was definitely worried that incense note was going to throw me off a little bit, but I honestly don't really smell it as much. It's more of a incense, like oil or like a perfume oil like it definitely smells really really luxe and nice so i'm very excited to burn this one and see what it gives while it burns right and then next from that collection if you watch my last little clip you will see i pretty much stopped filming once i saw this because this was the only one left this is frozen lake in the glass little jar collection as well again i got super lucky you guys and was able to find the entire entire full collection of this so this has notes of lavender leaves, cool eucalyptus, and juniper berries. And typically, I do like frozen lake. Um, I know sometimes when I have it in the wallflower, it does give me a little bit of a headache. So I feel like the candle, this candle is a little bit more subdued and a little bit more toned down. So I'm very, very happy to have this one because I do really, really enjoy the scent of frozen lake. I just feel like sometimes, especially in the wallflower, it can be a little headache inducing and a little loud and masculine. But this candle has a little bit more sweetness to it it's almost a little bit more creamy in a way so yeah i'm very excited to have this the last two that i found were the ones that i wanted the most girl y'all already know my girl winter candy apple i got two of these y'all i'm so excited because one is for sure going to be for me and one is for sure going to be being gifted but y'all already know this is a classic bath and body works winter scent and i just was not about to pass up on this beautiful red jar it just looks so good you guys and it just smells even better y'all literally every time i smell winter candy apple i know it's not like a love scent among everyone like i know not everyone loves this scent but it just transports me and it's just such a nostalgic scent for me oh it just instantly puts me in the mind of the holidays because winter candy apple is just one of those scents that i usually only wear around this time of year so smelling the candle it just automatically brings back a lot of great holiday memories for me so i'm super happy to have a couple of these in my collection all right you guys that is it for my candle day 2022 haul honestly i'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all and be like i'm not going back because i'm really not sure i know there are some exclusive like post candle day drops that are supposed to be coming out so honestly i may go back to my store tomorrow to see if anything new has been placed out to see if i can get some new stuff on sale so stay tuned for that also you guys i will be participating in vlogmas this month i'm going to try my best to post once a day i'm going to try my best i'm not going to stick to that i already know because i just am so busy sometimes but i promise y'all i'm going to do so much better with that because i do have some stuff planned so if you guys have any suggestions that you want to see let me know but i do have some stuff planned so thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comments if you guys picked up any of these candles if you guys are going back how many stores did you go to girl let's just talk about it all because y'all know i love candle day and i'm super excited to chat with you guys and see what you guys picked up as well that is it for today's video and i will see you guys in my next one bye